let's show you some of the pictures that we've had elsewhere around the area. The weather watchers, no doubt the cameras were clicking today. It was just, uh, it was just beautiful out there. Wow. I got to, I mean, I'm, Charlie Hoffman, are you a professional photographer? I, I, I've got to assume you are because your pictures, I mean, the resolution's just perfect. Look at this pretty shot he sent in. October days don't get much better than this. I mean, okay, Charlie's well north and west of the city, but you start to see some of the fall colors popping out. We're not at the peak yet, but it looks awfully pretty. Here's a pretty shot for you of New York City. You're looking out over Central Park. And let's see what we've got for you. Just a sky that is perfect baseball weather. 65 degrees as of right now. Big game in town tonight. Well, 71 was your high temp today at just about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 12.59 to be oh so precise around here. 71, 3 degrees above the average, which is 68. What you expect? Sunny skies basically right through Thursday. Not much rain in this forecast. We sure could use some rain, to be honest with you. Now, there is a possible soaker by the time we get to next week. But look at the water table. I'm talking about since September 1st. We typically pick up almost four and three quarter inches of rain. We've received two inches, so we have a deficit of about two and three quarters inches below where we should be. So yeah, we can kind of use a soaker around here. Not getting it right now, nothing but high pressure and control. Our rain chance, all part of this front off to the west, and that would be really sort of, I'll say later Friday. And then we're gonna look down into the Gulf of Mexico. And speaking of which, the Gulf is just sucking up all this moisture into that front. So again, that gives us a, a chance for rain. This system, which is not named or numbered yet, could possibly become a, a tropical storm. Uh, it's a soaker possibly for us on Monday and Tuesday. And we're seeing that, at least starting to get it to act together. As you look at the future cast. Now, Wednesday's a great looking day. And here we go into Thursday. Now, this is that front, which I showed you up to the west, coming through the area. Notice how now it's sort of flattened out a bit, kind of stretched itself out as well. Not a lot of rain within it, and it doesn't ever materialize into too much rain. So more clouds on Thursday, warm temperatures, and then here we are Thursday, 8 p.m. Uh, we'd be watching some of this activity off to our west to possibly move into the area late Friday. But again, that soaker that we talk about, maybe Monday or Tuesday of next week. and could have a little bit of a tropical connection. I'll let you know. For tomorrow, it's mostly sunny, a little bit warmer than you were today. We'll go 77 degrees. And then remember I showed you that front comes through here on Thursday. Thursday, but before that front actually makes its way in, you get that southwest wind, and that's why we bump the numbers up. So Thursday, it's possible to see an 81-degree reading in the area. I, I, look, I'm certain of upper 70s, could be lower 80s. Uh, pretty good-looking sky. Again, a few more clouds out there. Friday, 74. Well, you drop the temps down a little bit on Friday. That's still above average, but we're talking about the temperatures now uh, being associated with the cooler air behind the front, and you I put a few more clouds into the area. <laughs> yeah. I was just fixing my desk. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs>